Why don't you get prepared? The value of preparation. Every Friday in my current events class in junior high school, it was the practice of the teacher to allow those who desired to do so to give a verbal report. As she called the roll at the beginning of class, she expected one of two responses from each of us. When she called out our names, we could either answer prepared which meant that we were ready and willing to give a talk in front of the class, or unprepared, which meant that we were not prepared to talk. Because I was a bright young man, I quickly figured out this system. I found that I could avoid these talks by using the word unprepared. My friends in the class also used this word. We supported each other, as supposed friends do. Those who said prepared had to give a talk, while we who said unprepared didn't ever have to move. Week after week went by, and each Friday, when the teacher would call my name, George, I would answer, unprepared. I had a long list of unprepared negative signs by my name, and I knew that would result in me failing the class. That bothered me, but not enough to make me risk being laughed at by giving a talk in front of my peers. In the class, I sat behind a girl I liked. I liked her to the point where I didn't even dare talk to her. She had a pretty face and seemed to care about everyone. But she seemed to care about me in a special way. What she said meant a great deal to me. One Friday, as the teacher was calling the roll, she called the name George. In my usual way, I said, unprepared. At that time, to my surprise, the girl I admired turned around and stared at me. I quickly looked away from her, but I knew she was still looking at me. She waited me out until not knowing where else to look, I looked directly into her eyes. As I did so, she spoke with firmness. Why don't you get prepared? Then she turned away. Her words seemed to explode into my heart. For a time, I couldn't even think. As I began to calm down, I found myself wondering, what does she care, unless she cares? All day long I thought about what she had said. That night I clipped an article from the newspaper and began to memorize it. I was now motivated by the very force that makes the world go round. Finally, when I knew I had every word memorized, I folded the paper neatly, put it in my wallet, and carried it with me throughout the week. When the next Friday arrived, I was sitting up a little straighter because this was a different kind of day. The teacher was calling the roll with her head down so she could put a plus sign or a negative sign on the correct line. Finally, she reached the G's. I then heard my name, George. There was a brief second or so of silence and then I softly responded, prepared. The teacher stopped calling the roll and looked up at me. She looked amazed. And then she drew a line through the negative sign, making it a plus sign. The girl turned around and looked into my eyes and smiled. But now the glory was over, and I wondered, what in the world have I done? What have I said? For I knew that by saying, prepared, I had committed myself to get up and perform. I found myself wishing that I hadn't said it. Time raced right at me as one by one the other prepared students gave their talks. Now it was my turn. The teacher looked towards me and I knew that it was an invitation to come forward. I slowly made my way to the front. I took a deep breath, lifted my head, and looked out at my fellow students. To my relief, I found that they weren't laughing. They were all looking up at me in complete amazement as if they could not believe what they were seeing. I started to speak. I remembered the first word, the first sentence, the first paragraph. I remembered every word of the entire article. When I said the last word, I wished I could go on and say more. It felt so good to be prepared. Desiring to be truthful and at the risk of being boastful, I feel compelled to say that my talk that day was the finest ever given at American Fork Junior High. As I made my way back to my seat, I had an added feeling of courage. 
I looked down at the girl and we exchanged smiles. I then collapsed into my seat and found myself thinking, being prepared is the only way to live. The memory of that day thrills me. I was prepared and I've strived to be prepared every day since those magical moments many years ago.